and I'm gonna be taking you through your 30 minute beginner's hit class today. So if this is your first time doing one of my hit classes, especially the beginners, all you're gonna need for today is a set of light weights. All right, so I got my dumbbells over there. If you're starting out, maybe just go for two or three pounds, okay? You can always build up to more weight, more resistance as you get stronger. So what we do in this class in 30 minutes, we start with a warm up, get our body moving, heart rate up, and then we get into the main body of work, which is a mix of cardio and strength training. Each move is 30 seconds long. So once your 30 seconds is up, you're gonna hear ding dinging to the music, and then we're gonna go into the next move. Now, before you start that move, I'm going to give you a preview of the move so you can join in once you feel comfortable and ready. All right. Now, as we get stronger, fitter, then we can make those transitions quicker. So if it's going to take you 10, 15, 20 seconds today, that's okay. Your goal today, if you're new, is just to get through the class. Now, once we get through it, then we end with a two minute cool down and stretch. All right, so ready to go. You need room around you, so clear some space so you're able to go side to side and forward and back. And if you don't have a lot of room today, that's okay. We're gonna modify and work with the space we have. All right, let's start with our warm. Let's do this. Let's get that music on. All right, so our warm up begins with step touch side to side. If you like, you can add some arms, reach and pull. Pull right into those hips. So with our cardio today, it's all high intensity, but there's gonna be some lower impact options. So if we have any sensitivities with the knees and we're not jumping today, that's okay. All right, let's find a squat here. Bend your knees, hands and thighs, cat and cow, so we're rounding the spine, and then we're arching. Round, and then arch. Yeah, feels good for our back. Feels good for the legs. Those quads, those glutes are gonna get quite a workout today. They are the biggest and strongest muscles of our body. And they burn a whole lot of calories when we work them. Now next cat stretch, roll it up. Feet wide, fast feet. Go, go, go. Yep, warm up those legs. Start to raise your heart rate. Keep breathing. This class is gonna keep, get you breathless, that's for sure, with the cardio. Keep going as fast as you can. Now final warm up move, standing arm circles. Have your feet in your hips, stand tall. Belly brace, glutes engage. Arms, circle around. Warming up the shoulders. So this is your quick little warm up before we get into the main body of work. And if you're new, take it really easy on the first two sets. And then the final two, we can really push. All right, let's begin our work. Grab your weights now. In strength training, we begin with bicep curls with calf raises. Feet under hips. Palms face forward. So we lift the heels on the calf raise, looking up and down. And as we do that, we've got those bicep curls, curling all the way up and all the way down. So this move is 30 seconds long. Things move pretty quick in this class. <laughs> so chest proud, always maintain good posture before anything else. All right, we're losing the weight. Have those off to the side, side to side hops. First cardio move, side to side, check it out, yep. Now maybe, you don't have the right shoes or are not on the right floor for this today. We're keeping it lowered intact. Option. Check it out. Side to side tops here. All right. Take that option if you need to. If not, we've got this other option here. All right. So we're grabbing our weights again. Strength training. This time we're going to static sumo squat with shoulder presses. So this is our very wide squat. Feet wide, toes turned out. Drop down low, press the knees open. Arms 90 degrees. Now we begin that press. So this is to work the tops of your shoulders. Try to get those arms straight each and every time. And stay down low here. Static means hold. So we're holding in that sumo squat, working those glutes, inner thighs, quads. All right, squeeze on up, step it in, lose the weights. Cardio, we're going into scissors. So it looks like this from the side, 
scissoring the legs. If that's too much, you're taking it into a fast speed march instead. That's your lower impact option. But we want to feel that intensity here. Feel that peak. Only 30 seconds. All right, see, we're all ready to do the next move. Grab your weights. Balance work, figure four squats with forward raises. Balance on your right foot, left ankle, right thigh. Knee draws back, arms forward, knuckles forward. So here, coming down and then up. Oh yes, using that flexibility in the lower body to sit low, working that supporting leg, strengthening the ankle. Any issues with the knees, just stay with regular squats instead of the figure four. Forward raise, work in the front of the shoulders and cross lower your waist into cardio. Cardio move now, we're taking it into step touch, weight clap. Take it forward, take it back. Whatever space you have, if you need to keep it side to side, that's all right. Maybe you want to move around a little bit. We're definitely moving. Nice big clap. Open those arms. Step wide. All right, let's grab those weights again. Lateral squat walk. So start on one side, waist to chest, drop down that squat. Stay in your squat and small steps over to the side. The key of this is to stay low. You're not coming up. The roof is low, so we stay low. Keep your chest up, don't look down, look forward and breathe through it. Feel your quads. The front of your thighs, burning, getting stronger, burning those calories. Squeeze on up, lose the weights for cardio. We've got run forward, then jack back. Run forward, then jack back. So whatever space you have in front, run, and then four jacks back. Or we can do it on the spot, run here, and then four jacks. All right, so lots of options. No excuses, right? <laughs> we can always modify. All right, we're grabbing our weights again. For overhead, try some extensions with single lunges. Right foot forward, left foot back. Weights up above our head. Down here, square your hips, toes forward, down and up. So in this lunge, both knees are bending. Really ground through that front foot. Upper arms stay right alongside your ears. Working through the back of the arms, loosening thighs, long spine. All right, raise the chest, step it in. Let's lose the weights. Cardio, we're going now into the delt. So starting one side, and let's travel. Yeah, we're pushing off that foot, taking us over to the side. That's too much lower in half. We've got a double step touch instead. A wonderful option. All right, grab your weights. Side shoulder raises with side leg raises. So balance work, belly in, chest up. Check it out. Ooh, now we're not gonna lift the arms higher than shoulder height. Shoulder height or less. You don't wanna work your neck here. Abs in. Working that side band, IT band. Outer hips. And definitely feel the side of the shoulders. All right, let's lose those weights. And let's take it to cardio. We've got butt kicks. So here in your jog, you're giving your heels to your butt. And if that's a little much, you're taking it back into that fast march. All right? You decide your workout. Find your highest intensity today. You're fully warm now. <laughs> and we're almost done our first set out of four. So grab those weights and let's take it into wide rows. So here, feet under hips, tip it forward, 45 degree angle of the spine, and we're rowing it. So don't let your head drop all the way down and look at your knees. Head is up, looking a meter ahead. Now elbows are coming out wide. Squeezing shoulder blades together, working through your center upper back. And this is going to take us into your second set. So you know all the moves now. Come up to standing, palms forward, cab raises with bicep curls when you're ready. Yeah, so again, you can make those transitions quick. 
especially if this is not your first class and need that extra challenge today. But if you need that 10 seconds to reset, take that time for yourself. We want to get through this workout and make it to the end, and you will. Just keep focusing on your form, your body, and your intensity. All right, move the weight, side to side hops. Yeah, it feels good to get your body moving, huh? To get that heart rate up. It reminds us we can move. We are alive. And we are fitter than we know. Even though HIIT makes us feel like we're out of shape, you're actually in amazing shape. This is tough for anyone's fitness level. We are all pushing hard. Grab your weights. Static single squat with shoulder presses. So again, feet are wide. Open your knees, wide in line with the ankles. And drop low. Up here isn't working the lights. Down here is. Feel the difference. Feel that sensation in your body. Press those weights up to the ceiling. All right, squeeze on up, step it in. Lose those weights. Let's go more cardio. Take it into those scissors. How are you feeling? I know it's not easy, huh? For beginners. <laughs> but it's a great workout, right? <laughs> and moves are fairly basic, easy to follow. Nothing complicated. All right, grab your weights again. And let's go into bigger four squats, forward raises. Balancing on your left foot this time, right ankle, left thigh, knee opens. Knuckles forward. Down it up when you're ready. See that range we can get into today? All the moves here in the beginner class is standing, so notice that there's no up and down. Makes it easier that as well, that way. <laughs> All right, let's take it off. Lower those weights. Let's take it to our cardio. Now we're going into the step touch with the clap. Again, if you got the spins, take it forward, take it back. Kind of feels good to shake it out a little after that, huh? <sighs> but don't treat them at wide steps. Cardio movement. All right, you're grabbing your weights. It's that lateral walking squat. So here, get down low, walk it to the side. The key is to be low. Knees deeply bent, so don't bend your back forward. There's no bend in the back. Chest stays up. Use that core strength to keep your chest up. Good posture. Better back. I'm feeling it too. Squeeze on up, lose those weights, and let's take it to our cardio. We're taking it into run forward and then jack back. Four jacks back. But what happens if you do two jacks instead of four? Nothing. <laughs> What if you're just sticking with the jacks? That's okay as well, all right? Long as you're moving, long as you're challenging your cardio, and most importantly, you're not giving up. All right, grab those weights. Now let's take it to our strength. Single arms, overhead tricep extensions. Left foot forward this time, right foot back, yeah. Wanna switch it up each and every time. About four sets, that means two on the right, two on the left. So we're gonna be nice and balanced by the end of this workout. Now check in, upper arms still alongside your ears, arms straight and elbows bent. You might feel those upper arms, or those weights touch your upper back. All right, step it in. Move some weights. Into that cardio, let's go into the gap. Reaching pull. Amazing work, keep it going. All right, grabbing those weights. Side shoulder raises with the alternating side leg raise. Stand tall and proud. 
Now you don't need to lift that leg too far out to the side to work. You feel this. So it's not about high, it's about long levers. Arms and legs remain straight. Breathe. Get your breath after the cardio. We're back at the cardio though. Move those weights. And let's take it to the butt kicks. Kick your bum if you can. Your heels are touching your buttocks. Yeah. See? All the way up. Use those hamstrings. Now you're almost at your halfway point. I know you're almost halfway done your workout. We're not going to give up now. Get those arms pumping. Chest up. All right, grabbing those weights. Wide rows. Feet under hips. Tip it forward. Side here of the spine. So no rounding your back. Tip it forward. Hinge from your hip flexors. Tilt the pelvis forward. And squeeze those shoulder blades. All right, clean on up. Third set, bicep curls, cab raises. All right, so third set, halfway through. Maybe we're gonna increase the range even more with those squats, lunges. So maintaining good form and alignment. That helps to build a good, strong fit body. Helps to prevent any injury. I wanna make it with you. I wanna make it with you. Use your weights. Side to side hops. And remember your options if you need it. Side to side hops can look like this instead. You decide, get to your workout, whatever it takes to challenge yourself and get to the end. Let's grab those weights. Static single squat. Shoulder presses. Down. Drop lower if you can this time. Press those knees open. Feel that burn. Feel that squeeze. Feel your body getting stronger. We're sweating now. We're feeling that intensity. All right, squeeze on up, step in it, use those weights. Cardio movement into the scissors. And remember your option if you need, it's a fast march instead. A very fast march, as fast as you can, getting those arms pumped in, all right? Amazing work, keep going. All right, grabbing our weights. Trigger for a squat with forward raises. Balancing on your right foot. So first we've got to find the balance before anything, then we can begin. So the setup might take a little longer. That's all right. Got to be set before we start. I want to make it with you. See how you got a little lower this time. Building that ankle strength. Shoulders really good. They're great working today. Squeeze on up and cross. Let's lower those weights. And let's take two. Not cardio. Step touch. With those claps. Yeah, open those arms nice and wide. Step real wide. Grab those weights again. It is the lateral walking squat. Drop down low. So this doesn't have to be fast. So you can take it as slow as you need to. And the steps are not big. But we have to stay low, right? That's where the work is. That's just getting it stronger here. All right, squeeze on up, lose the weight. Into that cardio, let's take it into, run forward, jack it back. 
run forward, four jacks back. And if the jacks are too much with the jump in, check it out. For alternating, modified jacks with a side tap instead. Take it if you need it. All right, grabbing those weights. That next move, we take a two single lunge overhead tricep extensions, right foot forward, left foot back. Once you're set, let's begin. See we need to drop lower into our lunges. Back knee coming down towards the floor. Maybe we'll feel it gently touch, but we're not gonna rest down. Don't take that break. <laughs> this is not a stretch. This is strength work. Look forward, squeeze on up. Weights the chest, step it in, lose the weight into that cardio. Let's take it to the gallop. And a reminder of that option. Double step touch instead. You decide, keep going. We don't want to give up. Now, we're almost done. That third set, I will only have one more set to go after this. Grab those weights. Let's take it to the side. Shoulder raises. We're alternating side leg raises. Now notice I'm not leaning to the side. I'm standing tall. Leave it here. So we can really push that cardio. And that's where the speed comes. Strength, we slow it down a bit. All right, lose those weights. And let's go into the butt kicks. Heels to butt, or get that option. Fast march, very fast though. Yeah, arms moving fast, knees coming up. You do it. All right, how are you feeling out there? Are you gonna make it to the end? Don't worry, you will. Grab your weights. Set it up. Wide row. Speed in her hips. Tip forward. Row it when you're ready. Squeeze. So this takes us into our final set. Come up to standing when you're ready. Palms forward, cab raises, bicep curls. Chest crowd. Just like when we started, good posture. Let's not lose that in this last set. I know we're gonna be fighting for our form because we are feeling that fatigue. Normal would feel a lot of fatigue by this time. <laughs> we felt that for the first show. <laughs> Excellent. Move the weights. Side to side hops. So it's our final time with each and every move. So challenge yourself to your max. No regrets after this workout today. Only stronger, leaner muscle tone. Improved cardio. And a boost of positive energy. Working out. Boost those endorphins, makes us feel great. Grab those weights, set it to them. Squat, shoulder presses. Get down low. Drop a little low if you can. Squeeze on up, step it in, loose the weights into that cardio. Scissors. Keep those arms pumping. Keep it moving. Balancing on your left foot. Set it up. 
when you have your balance begin. Nice and low if we can. Balance work is great to build core strength. Core strength is essential. It's our midsection. It supports us when we use our legs and our arms. That center body. All right, let's uncross, lose the wrist. And let's take it into that cardio. So that touch with the clap. This is kind of our happy dance because we only have a couple of minutes left. We're near the end.
stretching helps with recovery and also injury prevention. Now we're going to sat down. Now we're going to swing left leg and arms. Also have to pull those abs back in. Get them working here to give us that support. Now going to that quad stretch, grab the top of our foot, knee faces down, arm up for balance. Stand tall. Now heart rate's not going to come down right away, but it will. It'll slowly make its way down. Very important that we kind of keep our body moving after this kind of workout for a little longer. So let's release that down and let's crisscross the arms. Loosing up through the back, chest and shoulders. Now we're going to bring that right arm across for a shoulder stretch. Now let's crisscross one more time. Then we're going to bring that left arm across, shoulder stretch. And I hope you had an amazing full body workout today. Again, my name is Francis, and this is your 30-minute beginner hit class. Feel free to reach out. Let me know what you thought of the class. Like the video below. Make some comments. And I hope to see you back here soon. Release the arms. Roll the shoulders. Awesome job. Take care. We'll see you back here soon.